Hello everybody, welcome to this course in which we are going to learn how to create a car racing and simulation game for desktop. We are going to create a desktop project and I have created one new project in Unity with name of Suzuki because our main vehicle in this project will be a Suzuki. Okay, so this course is for intermediate uh, learners so if you are absolute beginners i will suggest you to uh, see some beginners videos or you can also uh, watch my uh, first uh, course on game development so you will learn about unity game engine and basic environments and how things work inside unity so in this course i will definitely explain uh, every aspect within the game but i will not uh, explain um, uh, like uh, you are absolute beginners I will explain like you already know the things okay so I uh, already in project we are in unity in, uh, uh, unity now and I have created one scene scene one I have saved and nothing else and we are going to create our game in assets I already have uh, imported some assets which we need uh, in our game, low poly street path, grass and flower, pack one, and some other assets like uh, text mesh pro for main uh, this UI design and standard assets which are very useful and road architect master. All other assets are free. This asset is paid, it um, is your work, but you can create your roads freely as well. So you can use this. Uh, plugin if you need uh, otherwise you can create roads without this as well okay you can use this low poly street pack it has everything so i just imported this one because uh, i have to build this game a little bit faster okay so now on scene one we don't need anything because we will create main ui and that will be our second step after finishing scene two so we will create one more scene in scenes folder and name it to scene 2 actually we are on scene 2 now and I already made uh, prepare some pictures for train okay uh, because we are creating this uh, game uh, for real environment so we are creating this game uh, that in which Suzuki will uh, take its uh, initial um, ride from Havelia to Abbottabad which are uh, which are, uh, that are the places inside Pakistan KPK so because we have to build a game uh, which is because we have to create a scene of that natural environment so I have uh, picked some images from Google map uh, Google map and uh, that satellite imaginary and then up in Photoshop I uh, correct that images and that images are ready in pix folder and then stages pix so I prepared these images like that uh, this and now we are uh, that's only images these images are for reference okay so this is the image for first stage and scene 2 okay so now we are ready to go so here what we will do we will create a new train 3d object train and then I will move to my folder and here I will check the picture size okay so here you can see size of this image is 715 to 1154 so we should have our train in that ratio okay so we will make it 750 and 1154 I'll also make this train height to 300 for uh, speed so it will render uh, small textures um, and the speed of game will be fine and now we will place this image on this train so select the train go to this texture area add a texture add texture and then we will place this image here and we will 
give it size of 715 to 1154 i will not explain everything okay that's why i told you that this is not the beginners tutorial this is for intermediate uh, developers so now our scene is ready and uh, we can uh, model our roads and everything on this uh, train okay so now uh, first of all i already imported a package road architect and when we have this package inside our unity then you will find in windows area road architect extension here and you can click on create road system and you are ready to go with roads okay so i will press control and then click left click and then like this we can create our roads the very easy okay so like this we can create roads i think i placed a wrong image here yeah i placed a wrong image so i will escape uh, the sequence and i will just delete this thing and i will go to pix and uh, stage pick this image actually we need for stage one i placed this one i think so we'll go here again we'll check first stage image size which is 715 to 1016 okay so we'll come here and uh, that is 1016 so now we will come to textures and edit the texture and just place this image here and 1016 that's it okay so now we are going already and this is a uh, actually the image uh, the, these both images are same actually sorry uh, our road is starting from that side and you can see z axis always uh, this z axis should be the opposite side okay that is very important so my uh, we should rotate this canvas like this okay now we are fine this is the correct position okay and we have to create road from here okay this is the starting point so that was the mistake now we'll go to window road architect create road system then control and now we are going to create our roads one more thing actually we have to create one more stage uh, later on we will do now we are creating this road like this very easy okay so this thing now we are ready um, we need this road a little bit wider okay so if we need this road wider we can increase it's width here okay lands two four six in this uh, extension also we can increase the width of two-way uh, road okay so I will just make it uh, six okay that's fine now our road is ready and we will put some texture on the road I already have textures and I my textures are imported here as I think uh, where are that textures uh, that's all in here this folder uh, and uh, then materials these textures okay yeah that's I imported so now we can just add our textures here on the road and adding of texture is very easy we can just drag and drop our texture here okay so you can see now we can add our textures very easily okay and uh, this road texture is fine yeah we need that that's good and uh, i will add this texture to all the road and also similarly we can add side texture of the road as well okay so side texture will be uh, very similar I think we can use this one okay yeah this texture is fine with side road and uh, the middle texture I think it should be more black okay so for that uh, what we can do we don't have the accurate material for that 
and we can just search Google for the right material okay and yeah that's a good choice and now we'll just move here materials and then this texture this texture we will use our uh, insides okay and like this yeah that's a good idea and now on Google we will search for board texture in images and we find some black texture here we will try these texture that's fine this is blurry so we can move to next one this has some copyright we can move to next one this is also blurry Mm, this is not good. It's look like unnatural. This is better, but uh, not too better. Why we can't found correct road for us? Let's check this one. Yeah, this is fine. I, I think yes, this is fine. This area road is like this, but not actually too much like this. Mm, we can use this one, no problem. Desktop and yeah, this texture is also fine. This is also good, but uh, this is good. I think both are same, maybe. Yeah, both are same. So we can drag this texture here in Unity. Now we can add this texture just by dragging. Where is our texture? Where it comes? Ah, this one. So we can drag like this, and you can see in when we zoom in, it looks fine. Yeah zoom out maybe you feel some difference and for making this texture good what we can do uh, we can decrease its width maybe 512 maximum size apply that's fine now uh, we can use this texture no problem i will try this one also let's see No, this is not good. This is fine. So we will use this texture. And I will pause the video. After texturing, I will come back. Okay, that's it. I have done the texture. Now, the second step, I will add a skybox. And I already imported a skybox here. And we'll go to window, lighting, settings, skybox. Now our skybox is added to our scene okay so now i already prepared one suzuki how i will explain i'll just drag that suzuki here and after that i will explain everything i have the suzuki and i can drop drag this suzuki like this and we can focus by pressing f you can see our vehicle is ready and ready to go okay so it's everything uh, regarding model is ready okay this is the final model we need so hi how i made this very easy by using the cubes i just make this uh, structure of the suzuki this is a cube this is a cube and uh, everything is a cube and then i place the textures on it okay also you can place images like this and like this okay everything is fine now in standard assets we have one standard vehicle okay car prefab and we can drag this prefab here and we can just use this prefab this is a ready-made car okay everything is done with this car so I just deleted the uh, body of this sky car like this and like this I am explaining you and 
then I just put it these cubes structure on these tires and our Suzuki is ready okay that's it I just changed the texture of tires as well to black so that was the process I just explained you the process now that I can delete that thing and we can tag this to player which is already tagged so our Suzuki can drag Suzuki and play our game now our play um, game is playing okay so now uh, what we will do we will adjust the camera with this Suzuki so I am going to um, show you a smart way of implementing camera on this Suzuki very easy okay everything is available in standard assets so we will use that camera okay so now we will delete this main camera no need of it and we will go to standard assets and in our cameras we have a prefab for this camera multi-purpose cam okay so we can drag this camera here anywhere so now if you play the game your camera is hard to focus on Suzuki and this is a dynamic camera okay so now we will adjust this camera how We'll just see that where our camera is so its default location is here we'll just come here and rotate our camera because uh, we're starting the game we need some animation a little bit of that uh, camera moved around this Suzuki so now we placed here camera now play the game yeah you can see it's awesome now Run our game. Our main vehicle is ready, road is ready, and camera is ready. Everything is done. It's uh, basic thing is done in this video, and in real environment, our road is a little bit higher. So I will fix that in the same video. Uh, what I can do, I'll just drag this car here and then we will select this road system and then we can move this one road one just select road one and then we can move it a little bit higher okay like this so it's too much high i think uh, here it will be fine that's fine now and now we can click on a node and we can give it a height okay like this this area is high this is a little bit higher also this is like this we will adjust our road according to our needs okay so this is a bridge that area will be like this same now here again we will start our height and we will adjust our road regarding to real environment okay so it's very easy actually this uh, road architect plugin I like this plugin so much it is our work and very fast to use okay so now yeah mm, I think uh, we should higher this thing a little bit more and we can make this down and then uh, this one also higher then yeah now fine now it's fine okay so everything is done in this video and in next video we will proceed further thank you very much